to everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Achola and here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and how to look and feel amazing at any budget. For today's video, I want to share with you guys few of my favorite looks that I wore to work last week. Oh yes, your girl is back to work. It's been about five weeks now. And honestly, I cannot tell you how nice it is to be back to work. I know, I know, I know. Nobody says that, but <laughs> honestly, it's just so good to be back, especially after five months of staying at home. You can already imagine how cool I was going crazy, okay? Like the first month, honestly, I was so happy. I was like, yeah, you know, this is perfect and time to be off and I've got so much stuff to do and I'm gonna get a lot done and then you already know not so much um, didn't get much done but then you know the months just kept going on and on and on and on fifth month honestly I was just over it I was so ready to just go back to work you know get back to normal see some new faces talk to different people every single day and um, most of all just putting looks together and I finally get to wear my outfits out you know so I'm really happy to be back if you don't know what I do I am a mannequin stylist and I also do personal shopping here in Calgary at Simon's so if you are interested definitely give us a call I would love to uh, do a personal shopping appointment with you and um, yes that's another thing we're now open to uh, personal shopping appointments and whatnot so it's kind of nice I actually had my first appointment just a couple of days ago it was really good but um yeah so it's really good to be back to rumble too much I hope you all are doing well and um, staying safe I hope and um, if you are back to work how's that working out for you because you know this whole mask all day long thing it's a struggle <laughs> like some days is a little bit harder than others but you know it's getting a little bit easier I feel like as long as I'm not running down and up the escalators or stairs too much it's usually fine because it's a little bit cooler in the store as well but once you get out and it's really hot then you feel like you're about to pass out and um, but yeah let me know how you guys are feeling and how things are going and with that you already know if you would like to see more of me you can find me on Instagram at Achola's Closet as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video now for the look of the day as always I have this pretty summer dress here I bought this from Simon's actually just last year last week and um, I think it was one of the last two this is a size small the other one was a size large I'm just not sure if it's still available or not because it was only ten dollars I know right so um, but yes I absolutely love it I love the little ruffle detail I love the long sleeve as well so it's easy you know it is a summer dress but it's super easy to you know take it into fall by just layering a cardigan and tights and boots with this and you are ready for fall so number one if you are wondering why I am wearing a skirt it is because last Monday Labor Day I uh, picked up a shift as a sales associate and um, for me it's like literally just an excuse to get all dressed up and um, so I did wore I uh, I wore my pleather skirt and that is from Simon's pair that with the pleather top that is also from Simon's now these two are from the uh, Econ department I used my Michael Kors belt 
and um, I also bought this from Simon's actually just I think about two years ago now so beautiful I love the black and white look now to complete it off for shoes I decided to pair it with this heels right here that is also from Simon's I know now here's the thing though I feel like over the years my wardrobe honestly changes depending on where I am working so for example when I was at Hudson's Bay a lot of the things in my closet were from Hudson's Bay same thing when I moved on to um, La Chateau I remember with La Chateau literally two-thirds of my closet was La Chateau and now now that I've been at Simon's a lot of the new things in my closet is from Simon's I feel like it's just a lot easier you know what I mean like I don't have to go to the other stores to buy things when you know I can just buy it where I work right and um, one of the things we are required to wear at work is stockings now for this look I found this gorgeous stockings on Amazon and um, I just I had to order it I thought it was so sexy now with this look with the um, that high slit look I love it because I think it just gives my legs a touch of style now so for the purse I completed it with my I know right the Bottega dupe I also picked this one up from Simon's just about two weeks ago now I love I love 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 the uh, Bottega Veneta handbags but you know it's such a trend piece and I wasn't going to you know spend a lot of money on it I know there will be a whole bunch of dupes around here that I can pick one up and so when these ones came in at Simon's I was beyond excited now regular price was hundred and seventy five but I picked it up for thirty dollars and I cannot tell you how happy that makes me now for a mask since it's mandatory honey I completed it with my blue Ankara mask um, this was Monday's look The next look here honestly I was just feeling myself that day and um, even though it was over 24 degrees in the city I woke up and I just wanted to wear this turtleneck right here and um, this turtleneck I bought it from Simon's the twig department I think it was last year now pair that with my absolute favorite Philip Lim wool pants here with the uh, skirt detail in the front. I just love this look. I think it's very classy, very cool, very elegant. I finished it off with my Dune London pointy toe heel here. Now this I picked it up from Winners. And I like to pop into winners at least once a week just to check out what they have in store because winners is like one of these stores you just never know what you're going to find in there unless you go and check them out now this one was the only one sitting there I bought it from um, Northeast winners so the one in Sunridge Mall right now for me I think moving forward I'm just buying things that I don't have in my closet or things that I need in my closet I'm not buying things just for the sake of how cheap they are anymore because that honestly is getting me nowhere my closet is filled with things that I now have to get rid of and it's not fun trying to get rid of things you know I do the visual work I have to change mannequins and you know 
climb on the ladder and things like that so I have to wear flats at work so at work I completed it with my yellow converse here and this also is from winners I absolutely love this converse for my first pair of converse I saw this yellow and I just I couldn't resist and um, surprisingly Converses are the most comfortable sneakers in town. I don't know how I am just finding that now, but I am so glad. Now I am definitely going to be picking up a couple more Converses just to change out of this yellow one right here. But back to the bag. Now, as I was telling you, I was already using this bag and I had I a few things to take into work. So I just figured, why not? I'll use my big Jacquemus basket here. It's still a favorite. I have been using it, you know, for quite some time now. And um, I absolutely love this bag. And this was the look. Oh, in case you're wondering what mask. <laughs> and now for the mask, I decided to complete it with another Ankara mask that I made myself. You know, sticking with the blacks and gold theme here, I thought this was just perfect for the look. So for the third look here, honestly, I just wanted to wear a full-on black. Now, I am wearing this black bodysuit that I got from Simon's, I think, last year. Pairing it with the uh, straight leg trousers that I got from Contemporan back, I think, in, um, I think it was June, maybe, or July-ish. And um, I actually showed it to you guys in a video when I bought it. As for the belt, I changed it out for this nice snake print gold belt now this i thrifted it at wins i think a couple of years ago as well but i always get compliments for this belt it's just something about it you know to complete the look because it's just so plain black i thought why not add a nice colorful head wrap because you guys already know how much I love my head rubs as well. Now this is just very quick. I know, right? And then I normally take the tails and just hide it in here. We do the same thing with the other tail. And now when it comes to the shoes, I completed it with my black flats from, I think, yeah, this one was from H&M. I just, I love the pointy toe, the little, you know, cut here as well so it's not just a round cut it's got a little um, you know a little V style here and I just love that about this flats super comfortable when it comes to the handbag I honestly can't remember which handbag I used, but I could have could also use this to complete the look of just you know so stylish and trendy now for the face mask i know you can tell i'm having a lot of fun with this whole face mask thing i'm even matching them to my head wraps now like i have a couple of them like this like the uh, face mask and head wraps 
it kind of just you know adds a little touch of style to your look and um, it doesn't just make it look so boring you know what I mean so for my second Philip Lim look I am wearing the gorgeous vibrant print blouse here you remember it from my luxury haul video I told you I bought it from the real real now the real real is having their $25 gift card promo again and so I just I couldn't resist you know so I used my other email to sign up on the real real and I got my $25 gift card I ordered a couple of things so I ordered that pants with the skirt in the front and a blazer and um, so that was before Labor Day because they were having the Labor Day sale as well. So on top of that, with the gift card, you know, so I got these ones for really good deal. Now, I decided to order a couple more things that should be here, I think, tomorrow or the day after. So I'm waiting on those ones patiently, but I'm extremely excited for the new pieces. And um, to be honest with you, I think moving forward, this is where I'm definitely buying all of my Philip Lim pieces because the prices on there are just too good, okay? Like, there's that gorgeous silk skirt that you can get for $15. And um, yeah, so I'm sitting here debating if I should get the skirt as well or not. Now, if you live in Canada, there is a $40 shipping fee, of course. If you don't mind that, like me, then you can just, you know, go on there and order your things. Now, back to the video, I completed this shirt with my Aritzia leather pants that I thrifted at Value Village last year. For shoes, I think I will complete it with my Cupid. I know, right? I'm definitely completing it with my Cupid high heels here as if I don't have enough colors on this shirt, but I figured why not? I love my colors. Now, when I was at work last week, I paired it with my yellow Converse. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like I can do yellow, I can do pink, I can do green shoes, purple shoes, orange shoes, you know, just any of the colors from this shirt, including black as well. But you already know I love colors or at least a pop of color in every single look. And as for a purse, I'll definitely reuse my Bottega dupe here because I just think the colors work so well together. Now for a face mask, I can literally just do any of my face masks here, including an orange one or even maybe I should make me a yellow one. For the final look of the week, I am wearing my Stripe men's shirt from men's section in Simon's. Now I'm pairing it with another straight leg black trousers that I picked up from the Contemporan department. Now this shirt was one size fit all. That's why it's massive. And I lost the uh, buttons as well for the sleeves. And honestly, I don't think I want to replace it. <laughs> so I'm just going to wear it as is. So now when it came to this look, I know I could have used a wider belt, like a wide waist belt, but I honestly just love the idea of the corset with oversized tops or even over blazers. So, you know what I noticed lately too is that some of my favorite looks are actually looks that I didn't put too much effort in. So, for example, this look here, I woke up like 
you know, I have to wear black pants every day. So that was, you know, already what I'm wearing. And, um, but I knew I wanted to wear this corset. Now I originally wanted my black and white striped shirt, but I couldn't locate it in the closet in time. And um, so when I saw this one, I said, why not? Like, let's try it. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, that's okay as well, but I'm still going out like this. And um, I cannot tell you how many compliments I got on Saturday for this look. Some people were asking if it was a designer top. I said, no, it's from here, like literally $10 for this. And I think the corset was about 20 something dollars on Amazon and free shipping. Even though it took two and a half months to get here, it was worth it. But I absolutely love this outfit. Him to shoes, I just completed it again with my black H&M flats because I honestly just didn't feel like wearing heels in that morning. I know I have a lot of things to do and I couldn't decide on what heels to wear and I felt like the pants was just not long enough for high heels and so I went with the flats. It came to a handbag. I think I used my Jacquemus basket again, but if I but if I am going to do this look again, I think I will do this handbag with it. I just love this bag so much. And um, I think it just works so well with this outfit. And that is it for uh, today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, hit on that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. Leave me a comment down below which one was your favorite look. And with that, do you have a great week. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Bye. Oh,